Hi guys, welcome to this video and in this video we will compare two gel liners. One is this very popular gel liner of Maybelline that is Maybelline Tattoo Studio Smoky Gel Liner and the another one is this very newly launched L'Oreal Infallible Grip Gel Liner. Now I have this Maybelline liner in the shade black and the L'Oreal in grey. Now this black one gives very deep intense liner look whereas this grey one is better to have a very natural subtle look. Now I am not a liner person because I have very small lid space but still I collect these gel liners because because I sometimes use them to have a little bit tight lining of my lash line or to have a very small wing eyeliner or sometimes I apply them on my lower lash line. Now for this I think gel liners are better than micro tip liners or liquid liners as they look more natural. I also like them a lot because they come in this retractable packaging. I mean I hate to sharpen my pencils. Now unlike the normal cold pencils this gel liners tip always remain in very small size to have a precise application. Now today I've used this grey one to have a very subtle wing eyeliner look. I mean it gives my eyes but better kind of look. Now L'Oreal and Maybelline both liners come in very similar retractable packaging. Now you can twist this liners up or down both to have the desired amount of product. Now both the liners have sponge tips at one end to smoke out the liners and also these sponge tips are secured by small plastic caps. Now this L'Oreal sponge tip is a little too soft to smoke out the liner whereas this Maybelline one is just perfect. Now this Maybelline liner has 0.28 gram product whereas L'Oreal is claiming to have 5 gram of product which is a little surprising to me. Now these are nothing but gel coal and 5 gram of product is a lot of quantity. Generally the coal that comes in this kind of pot contains that amount of product. Now when it comes to the formula both the liners glide like butter. They are very smooth and also very pigmented. Now this L'Oreal gel liner is a little more lightweight and also feels a little more premium on skin. Now it has a little powder matte kind of formula whereas this Maybelline one has the standard gel coal like formula. Now both these liners settle very quickly I mean within few seconds. Now this L'Oreal one settles more quickly and hence it is very difficult to smoke out this liner. Now Maybelline liner gives a little bit time but still it is very less. Now for this Maybelline liner also I think it is better to apply it in small segments to smoke it. Now when these liners get settled both of them are completely smudge proof, waterproof and also rub proof. Now both these liners are claiming to be 36 hours long wear which is impossible to test. Now this L'Oreal gel liner is 300 rupees costlier than this Maybelline one. I mean the formula of this L'Oreal one feels premium on skin but 1.5 times more price for that is a little too much. Now this Maybelline Tattoo Studio Smoky Gel Liner is currently available in two shades black and brown and if you want to have gel liner of any of these two shades then I think Maybelline is better option. Now first of all it is cheaper and secondly though L'Oreal has better formulation but this Maybelline one performs exactly the same. Moreover if you want to smoke out your liner Maybelline gives a little more time than L'Oreal. Beside this for Maybelline you can use this sponge tip applicator to smoke out your liner whereas for L'Oreal you will need a separate eye brush. Now I think you don't. I mean this L'Oreal liner settles so quickly that it gives hardly any time to smoke out the liner. Now this L'Oreal liner is available in 5 shades black, brown, turquoise, grey and blue. So to have a grey, blue or turquoise gel eyeliner I think L'Oreal is the option. Now for my daytime use I am currently in enjoying this L'Oreal grey liner a lot. Also for the no makeup makeup look, this grey one is a very good one to have a subtle touch up. Now L'Oreal recently has launched 4 new eye products, this gel liner, a liquid liner, a micro tip liner and this mascara. I also have reviewed this panorama mascara of L'Oreal and I will give the link of that video in the description. So guys, I am wrapping this video here and if you are still with me then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Till then take care. Bye.